you have a very large um, uh, immigration coming uh, that started from the war zone in, in, in Syria and Iraq. Uh, but that now has become a sort of a lucrative people moving route. And, and once um, refugees discover how to move on it, um, uh, uh, people, guides who take money from people to, to, to help them immigrate into Europe and negotiate the bureaucracy and stuff, they can do it too. So you now have this massive movement of humanity along this road leading out of Turkey across the uh, the Ionian Sea into uh, 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 Greece and and up through former Yugoslavia and uh, into Austria and Germany, and that route is being followed by not just by Iranians and Syrians, but by Pakistanis and Iraqis and um, Bangladeshis and even Southeast Asians. So you're getting the same, you know, the same immigration pressures, but in huge, concentrated, fast-moving form. One of the more interesting points you made in this Pope lecture was the fact that this seems to be evidence of the impact of globalization and how it's really leading to two separate camps and perhaps not the two camps people might think of off the top of their head. I, that, yes, I, I'm, 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 I'm glad you got that point. I, I, you know, we tend to divide things into uh, the rich and the poor. And, and, and during the lecture, I was trying to relate Europe's situation to America's. And, you know, it's, ten, it's tempting to say, well, you know, the Republicans used to be the party of, elite, of the elite, and now the Democrats are the party of the elite. And I think that is roughly speaking true, but, but, but I th the, 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 the way I'd rather look at it is to say that the big divide in, uh, in Europe, as in America, is between people who benefit from the global economy and people who don't.